And welcome back to Suncorp Stadium. The best rugby league stadium in the whole world and a crowd of over 50,000 people. A sea of colour, expectation, anticipation. A gathering of people, all with a common passion. They like their rugby league, but they love their state of origin. The pale blue and the maroon dominating the, the landscape. They're here again tonight like they have been since 1980 to witness one of sport's great rivalries. It is called State of Origin, and this is the start of the Harvey Norman 2007 series. A shot of both dressing rooms. The final betting I have provided is $1.60 the Maroons and $2.25 New South Wales. State of Origin, a product that never ceases to amaze all of us as it delivers this never-ending excitement and the fascination and then it hands down either the joy or the heartache to those that come to embrace it. The Queenslanders holders of the trophy, but they haven't put series back to back since 1989. Well, although it hasn't been reflected in the last couple of seasons, winning this first game is a giant step towards a series win. On 18 occasions out of the 25 played, the team that has won game one has gone on to win the series. That's how important tonight is for these two sides about to leave the sheds. 359 players in total have appeared in Origin football up to tonight and seven more will join those ranks in just a moment as they make this walk down the tunnel at what used to be Lang Park now called Suncorp Stadium and many years ago it was a graveyard it's been a graveyard for many New South Wales teams down through the years as well since 1980 so five of the debutants So you can feel that noise coming back and hitting you in the face. His captain, Danny Baderis, captains for the tenth time tonight. His joint Newcastle captain. And now the Maroons, with Lockyer at the helm for the eleventh time. and Jonathan Thurston makes up three. New South Wales will rely solely on Jamie Lyon. So we stand by for the rendition of the national anthem to be sung by Scott Cameron, who will be playing Buddy Holly in the Buddy Holly musical coming soon to Australia and New Zealand. Fabulous setting. A great trophy and a wonderful rivalry in sport to open at the most appropriate of our sporting stadiums. Australians is about to get underway. 
Both states have won 38 matches. They've played around 6,240 minutes or 104 hours. And still there are just six points between them. Such as the balance and the intrigue. Such as the theatre of state of origin football. Paul Simpkins will operate in his fourth origin match. Three of them here at the Cauldron. The Maroons will run to the Milton end of the ground. New South Wales won the toss and elected to receive. 32 origins for Mel Meninga, record points scored during that wonderful career. And there's his assistant coach next to him in Neil Henry, took over at the Canberra Raiders this season, doing a wonderful job down there. Okay, right to go. That's right. Set. So it's click clacks from the back. Here we go again. The 2007 series is underway. And that is Kite taking the first of the Maroons. Three of them in defence. Now for Cooper. Cooper playing left centre, playing on the same side as Jared Hay, the youngest on ground. To the 20 metre line then for the Blues, played by Mason. And here's Heinmarsh. Lots of tries this season in club football, but yet to score an origin try. Vadiris appeals to Simpkins. And here's White. Taken heavily by Johnson. Oh, welcome. Melbourne on Melbourne. Carroll over the top. Then for Mullen, his first kick of the game. Straight down to Brent Tate. And now for Carmichael Hunt, who won't go round either. Shortest way home is a straight way, and Kite bent him up and straightened him up. Kite does the same on Brent Tate. 32 metres away from the Queensland line. Here's Inglis. The young Melbourneian superstar, second youngest on ground, 19 years and four months. Penalty first of the game, Queensland high shot on Stephen Price. Yeah, not much in this one. Referee Simpkins looking to apply some authority early. Not quite sure if Craig English should be the man hitting that third tackle. That is a magnificent hit from Dallas Johnson, as Ray points out. Storm teammates. Doesn't mean anything tonight, and Carmichael Hunt shortened up by the right shoulder of Andrew Ryan. Tap taken 30 away. Nate Miles, the 16. 25 away from the Blues line. First and at first. Inside ball for Steve Price. Oldest on ground tonight at 33. Cameron Smith to the right for seven to see the hit and the spin and lock out. Here's Johnson! Johnson gets it away to Carroll! And they're five metres out from the line. An early opportunity for the Maroons. Lockyer then to Sivanasiva. Petro will play the ball. Pulled down by three of the Blues. Hindmarsh for one, White for another, Kite the other. Now they go to Johnson. And I don't think some of the Blues thought he was going to get it. They thought he was running a decoy. Maybe he didn't know he was getting it himself. Played by him, and now it goes to the left for Thurston. The kick is beautiful! kick from Jonathan Thurston. Well, the great players make it look easy. Greg Inglis made his debut game one last year, scored two tries in the opening two and a half minutes in his second game. He's got another one. Beautifully worked move, saw Tony Carroll put away in the previous set, a try saver from Anthony Minicello, and the far wing for New South Wales coming a long way off his line. That was Matt King, and Greg Inglis ghosted around the outside. But the kick, precision. Not too high, not too low, onto the chest, into space. I've got to say that Stephen Bell has had a real effect on this on this play because he forced King to come in, and Stephen Bell was offside. Now, they talk about offside from kicks and inside 10 metres. A beautiful kick, beautiful take. But the reason King came in was because Bell ran offside, ran a lovely decoy run. That dragged King away from his wing and made the kick easy. But Bell was offside and had an influence on the play. First and then 
The man responsible for the kick, now responsible for the conversion. From where the 20 metre line meets up with the eastern touchline. In front of this packed house. A try in the early minutes. Three minutes into the game for English. Thurston goes out wide, it's coming back. Oh, beautiful draw! 6 nothing in favour of the home side. Andrew Voss, sideline. Oh, Ray, how good is that? And so much focus on the Blues number seven coming into this match. Jared Mullen, hello. What about the number seven in the Maroon jumper? Jonathan Thurston, this is his time. A Dalian medal winner. His seventh Origin match tonight. He's played six Test matches as well. He's ready to go. Wraith and Nasta with the restart for the Blues. And here's Price bringing it back down the middle of the ground, just inside his own 10 metre line. Cameron Smith for Petro Sivanasiva. And he's thumped down about 15 metres out from the Queensland line. Hindmarsh leaving in defence. Carroll beat the first tackle. It's cleaned up by Ryan over the top of Hindmarsh. Now they're out to the 30 metre line for Hodges. And Justin Hodges will play the ball. Towards the western side of the ground. Cameron Smith kicking out from dummy half. Kicking it over towards Minicello. 27 years of age tomorrow. But dearest then. For Jared Hayne. Who becomes the 200th. Origin rep player for New South Wales tonight. Ryan taking a buffeting. He's on the halfway line. He's met by Smith and Lockyer. And Astor goes over, works a play with Brent Kite. The Kite is channeled back into the defences. Now it's to Anasta. Now to Mullen. Second man for Minicello. Out for Lyon, on for King. And King is brought down on five. 35 away from the Queensland line. Again for Mullen. And this kick going down into the end goal. Marked on the full by Carmichael Hunt. Well, this is his first two kicks in origin have not been particularly impressive. A long one down the throat of the winger. And that one, an easy diffusing inside the end goal area for a 20 metre restart. So here's Hunt again. This time stepping. Making them chase rather than that kamikaze style run of his. Now Tate. A straining run, full of enthusiasm. Seven receiver over halfway. Kite meets him head on. White is in the tackle. Hindmarsh is in the tackle. And now the Maroons, 40 metres away. Price, second man. Thurston came off the Queensland a miles. Taken by Mullen. And Jared Mullen to play the ball. Eight metres from halfway. Matt King with a dummy half settler. Very hesitant in defence, the Blues. They've gone up on a couple of those decoy plays and really got themselves in trouble. I'm sure the Queenslanders will keep trying that. Badiris floating the ball across the back of the ruck after a Mason run. It's taken by Hindmarsh. He plays it to Badiris. They're inside the 40. And Asta decides to have a go himself. They pick him up. And an Astor to play the ball 30 metres out from the Queensland line. Baderas for Heinmarsh. Heinmarsh down the centre. 6 0 in favour of Queensland. It's come away from an Astor to Ryan, and Ryan is up on the 10 metre line. Five gone for the Blues. An Astor puts a kick in late. Thurston's after it. So too is Inglis. Inglis can't get it back for mine. Line drop out time. Nice play there from both and Asta. Taking a bit of pressure off Jared Mullen. And he was under pressure himself. Drifting across, possibly looking for a pass on the last. But got the kick away. And the chase was good. Minicello, great strength. Another shot of it on the reverse angle camera. As Lockyer takes the drop out. Oh, it's a booming kick. Look at the time they're taking to get it back in their hands. It's Kite, but he's only three metres into Queensland territory. 
and he's got the biggest drop kick in the NRL. I don't know why they weren't in catching position for that one. He gave that a real belt. The dearest with a quizzical look on his face at the referee. Penalty now to the Blues. High tackle, Nate Miles on White. Oh, in fact, he's lifted him above the horizontal. He's called out Johnson, has he? Uh, now Miles. Yeah, Johnson didn't have much to do with it. It was Miles that lifted. Well, you can't grab players between the legs. Nate Miles, who hasn't played a lot of football this season. In fact, he hasn't played for a month. Now to be spoken to. Yes. Both in the tackle. The player gets in a dangerous position. He has been lifted. It's going on report. Right? So it's Nate Miles, the 16. And Dallas Johnson, the 13. And both placed on report. Nine minutes into the game for lifting... Brett White into a dangerous position. Here's Mason. Telecast going live into many centres. And live into Melbourne tonight. Welcome to our GTV9 audience. His kites shortened up 10 metres out. Best opportunity the Blues have had. Baderis Mullen. Mullen and Asta. And Asta. And Asta. Point out getting tries at club level got his first tonight for the New South Wales side. We have a look at how the tries have been scored a penalty given away by New South Wales, giving the opposition an opportunity. This one coming from a penalty as well. There's been a little bit of doubt about the pass. The referee would have been relying on a touch judge to give him a call on that, but the arms did look like they were going back from Braith and Astor, who on his last two carries have run the football, and that's when he plays his best. He loves to catch that long pass and step back off the left foot. He caught the napping there in Hindmarsh. He's become a try-scoring machine. Get it down, boy. Back after the break. So the kick is successful. Just coming back from the break. And back at Suncorp Stadium. The kick was successful off the boot of Jamie Lyon. Six points all then. Well, I've got to say I'm very surprised that referee Simpkins didn't go upstairs to the video referee, but... We obviously believe that he got a good enough view of that. To have no doubt that Pine Marsh planted the football over the line. Restart. Game taken by Nasta. Again on the kite. Massive place kick restart from Darren Lockyer. I've seen six replays. I haven't seen him put it on the ground yet. Here's Brett White. 13 out from the Blues line. Six all then. Some 12 minutes gone in the game. Game one of the 2007 Harvey Norman series. White. Blood streaming from his nose. This will be a blood bin. Used to be a badge of honour. Now you've got to go for a face wash. The Origin boys, they don't care. They had a little bit of blood. Get on with the game. That's it. Get the white cloth out. Heinmarsh there, having scored his first origin try just two minutes ago. The ball onto the right foot of Braith and Astor, and this two has found a Queenslander. Brent Tate chased and pulled down by Jared Hayne, playing left side for the Blues, up against Brent Tate, obviously. And now come Michael Hunt. Matthew John, sideline. It's been a great last five minutes of the Blues. A lot of patients have had penalties. They've had repeat sets of six. And Braith and Asta aren't the signs great. Not passing the football, running the football. Well, Brett White 
has been tidied up, but there's still a lot of blood coming from his nose. If Simpkins catches sight of him, I'm sure they'll be forced to take the next the next step. Here's Thurston! Thurston! Pulled down desperately by Mason. 40 meter line, blues in. Lockout. Left foot high. Might go out on the full now. That is a wonderful take from Anthony Minicello. You've got to understand, the crowd on the sideline, right up close over there, ball coming down. One little fumble gives it back to the opposition. Inch perfect. Stands his ground, gets back in field and wins the penalty. That's a great take. So just for the benefit of some of the audience not familiar with the game, that would have been a, a defender in front of the kicker. He's obliged to stay 10 metres away from the player playing at the football. 40 metre line for the Blues, and Minicello with the run to the halfway line. Tackle by Miles, quick play the ball for Mullen. It was the second marker standing direct, Stephen Bell. Referee said he was. Bailey's into the game. Luke Bailey's on, 32 metres out from the Maroons line on five. Then for Mullen. And he goes very, very high. A lot of hang time. Carmichael Hunt wins the contest. And then it's pulled down. Bootlay stuff by the number one, Minicello. Tate goes away, Andrew Voss sideline. And Brett White, the player, taken off the field, right in the hands of the New South Wales doctor right now. The damage was done. His very first hit up of the night, the forearm from Tony Carroll in the face. 30 metre line then for Queensland. At six points all. Inglis a try converted by Thurston after three and Hindmarsh retaliated with a conversion from Lyon after something like eight or nine players near the halfway line played by Stephen Price it's come from Cameron Smith they've gone short side for Thurston to put a kick in it's gone down and found the line from the pack about 12 metres away from the Blues line yeah it's been a good last 10 minutes for the Blues and I can tell you that when coming out of trouble the the Maroons are really bunching as they try to work the ball out of trouble. Now, that just can mean that New South Wales can bunch up in defence and hit in numbers and slow the play the ball down. Unless Queensland spread out a little bit more when they're working the ball out of trouble, these New South Wales forwards will eat them up. I just see a, a little touch of tiredness in some of their starting six for the Queensland side. It's going to be very interesting, the use of interchange tonight. I think that Dallas Johnson will probably have to play the full 80. I know he can do that at Melbourne and does do that at Melbourne. There is a lack of match condition in that Queensland pack, and if they're starting to get tired, he's got some decisions to make, Mel Meninga. Mullen called back for the second time. He and Anasta playing together for the first time. Oh, King! King from Carroll! Carroll got him, and Carmichael Hunt was there as well. Bailey. 17 away from the Blues line now. Brett White succumbing to that blood coming from the nose. And Bailey, an early entry into the game. He would have been rather surprised he wasn't in the run on side, Bailey. So he'll be more than happy to get out there. That's not a play the ball. That is not a play the ball. And he's brought high fives from Queensland. It's Brent Kite. Scrum to pack. 30 out, middle of the ground. Blues in. And when you get the momentum, you've got to hold on to it. The game changes so quickly at this level. One little mistake like that, an unforced error. You mightn't see the ball again for 10 minutes. Queensland then trying to work something on the left side. And Stephen Bell to play the ball, 30 out. Carmichael Hunt from eight miles. Runs into the waiting shoulder of Badiris with some help from Kite. 20 metres out, Cameron Smith. A back of the ruck play then for Sivan Asiva. Petro, 12 out. 12 outs in the centre of the ground. Smith, second man. Thurston, out for Miles, and Miles is tackled. Good tackle that by Lyon, but they got the numbers. Oh, he's lost the ball. Stephen Bell, he lost the ball over the line almost. He is a try scorer too, Stephen Bell. A great runner in traffic, 
juggled the football. The pass was a select one, a good one. Quick restart from New South Wales and over the top. Oh. Tony Carroll does it with Braith and Asta. Matt King just did enough in defence to force the mistake. Carroll penalised for his high tackle on Cooper. That's two in a row. And Jared Mullen finding the line. Five metres into Queensland's territory. Play on the western side. As Bailey goes up on the edge of the ruck. Tackled by Johnson and Sivanasiva. The dearest then. Then for Mullen. Now for Anasta. Then for Minicello. And Minicello hangs on. 25 metres out from the line, taken down by Thurston and Bell. From Jamie Lyon, it's gone to Willie Mason. Mason, short ball to Hindmarsh. 15 out from the line. Main tacklers with Miles and Sivan Asiba. Short side to Minicello. Only seven metres out from the line. Near the end of the tackle count. Played back for Medeiros. Sweeps it wide for Mullen. Precision play, beautiful passing there. The long wide sweep. Finding Jared Mullen in behind the support players going through. And then his pass. Put the outside man outside his defender. He's got a couple of choices here. And just the first decoy run and a lovely in and away from Andrew Ryan. Took two defenders, Andrew Ryan. Committed the first defender and then headed towards the outside man to get him interested as well. Look at the work here from Ryan after the good ball. Gets one. Now he goes out to Brent Tate. And all of a sudden, Cooper and an unmarked Jared Hayne. But that's the coaching that's gone into young Jared Mullen. And the fellow alongside of me in the box here, Andrew Johns, has had a lot to do with that. He threw that ball to the outside of the defender, so Ryan had a nice angle with which to work. And, and that type of delivery to Ryan just allowed him to get outside, draw the next man in, put that down to the pass of Mullen. And there's a lot of coaching and a lot of time gone into that. There's one very happy sort of coach up here in the box, Joey, aren't you? Yeah, I, I could feel this former number seven go up in the box. There's Jamie Lyon from near the touchline convert. 12-6 Blues, Andrew Voss. Oh, right, that is a massive swing in origin. 90 seconds earlier, Stephen Bell almost scores in the corner for Queensland. You'd even back Thurston to kick the sideline conversion. Queensland would have been in front by six. Now the Blues come up with a try to Cooper. He's only scored two for the Dragons this year, and that was in the one match against the Panthers three weeks ago. Now it's the Blues in front by six. And I would imagine making coach Graham Murray... <laughs> Just a little bit warmer on the inside after Inglis had taken the wind out of the blue sails after just three minutes. Nate Miles is off. Costigan has gone on. Welcome to our audience right around Australia. Our Victorian friends are with us live. Wonderful to have you on board tonight. And of course up in Papua New Guinea and in the UK through Satanta. You're seeing Origin live through the United Kingdom for the first time on Satanta. And, of course, beamed down through America on delay. And Fox Sports as well on delay. So it's a big, big audience for our silverware of rugby league. Badiris, a dummy to Mason, who gave him a decoy run. Mightn't get many reps for that, but it's, it's still an important job. And then Mullen down the ground and Carmichael Hunt answers the question with a lovely take. Oh, what a brave take that is. Plenty of fullbacks in the game would have let that run its course. Carmichael Hunt attacked that ball with gusto. You can hear the thud when it hit his chest. But just have a look at the Queensland attack now. You could throw a blanket over them. No width at all. They've just lost their shape in the last five to ten minutes. Need to get it back to put pressure on the opposition defence. Dallas Johnson they're tired, man. I'm telling you, they're tired. Smallest forward in the Queensland pack. Met by a couple of the biggest men in the Blues pack. Luke Bailey for one. Lockiest kick. Lockiest kick. 
it will go dead. Much to the glee of Anthony Minicella. Well, he had a good talk to the ball. <laughs> he was wishing it dead all the way. So Jamie Lyon takes a run out towards the 30 meter line. Now for Cooper, who scored the second New South Wales try. It seemingly was a try with consummate ease. Bailey losing it, it went back. But the referee has ordered knock on. And that doesn't surprise me because there's a chance it's gone originally forward and touched an opposing player. And don't worry, Queensland target this. He's got a very strange carry for a front rower, Luke Bailey. See how both points of the ball are facing straight up, straight down. They know if they get a shot on it, they'll force it loose. He's done it for a long time and never addressed it. 16 minutes to go, first half. There's another good tackle. This time from Andrew Ryan on Justin Hodges. Steve Price from the Warriors. Kafusi out there for Queensland. Steve Simpson on for Nathan Hindmarsh for the Blues. Cameron Smith taken around the bootlaces by Danny Badiris. Let's not forget their personal battle. Badiris wants his Australian jumper back. Now Thurston, who put in a lovely kick to see Inglis go in and score. Second man, back for Inglis, talking of him. He followed Kafusi through the ruck. Cameron Smith to the right for Thurston. That's too big. That's a mile too big from Thurston. Yeah, way too, too big. He'll be disappointed with that. Now, an interesting move made by Mal Meninga here. He has brought Dallas Johnson off. And Sean Berrigan, who's gone out, normally a hooker rotation type player. But Cameron Smith has stayed on. And Sean Berrigan is on at the same time. Twelve six to score. In favour of the Blues. Ball being played by Jared Hayne. Second youngest New South Wales player of all time behind Brad Fittler. Willie Mason. And now Tupu. Anthony Tupu. Who got himself an Australian jumper before he got a sky blue jumper. As Badiras puts in a kick. Pendulum swings back to Queensland. Yeah, unforced error there. Unforced error. It's an error that didn't need to be made. And I just noticed that Carmichael Hunt has gone out onto the left wing for Queensland and Greg Inglis to fullback. And the Blues have given Queensland field position with the ball, six tackles in hand. Inglis at the back now in his favourite role. It's a strange decision. Carmichael Hunt was going well, but they've obviously planned for it. So here's Thurston coming to the right to Tony Carroll, standing One. out of his scrum. Two. And Andrew Johns joins us in commentary. What that indicates is Queensland they showed in the last set when they got the ball, they bring Inglis into the middle and they'll tuck him up through the ruck. Bring a fresh man in from the wing and try to sort these big New South Wales forwards out. Okay, so while Andrew was telling you what they are doing out there, the Queenslanders, New South Wales were inside the 10. And the Maroons firmly on the attack now with the tap free. 25 metres out from the line. Price to Kafusi in the side. Also with an Australian jumper before a Maroon jumper. And it is Smith who turns it inside for Stephen Price. And he's met by Bailey. Always takes the dickens of a time to get him down, Price. Smith then. Second man, Thurston. Second man, Lockyup. And back for Inglis. And Inglis is snapped out of it by Cooper. Great tackle by Cooper. The 14 is Berrigan. Berrigan to the centre of the ground. Seven or eight metres out from the uprights. At the Milton end of the ground. Here's a try for Price. Paul. It's forward. Paul Simpkins had his arm up before Price got the ball. Well, it's a play that all teams like to use once they've gone behind a couple of times. An element of surprise. Hit the flat runner. Unfortunately for Cameron Smith and Queensland, well, I think that's OK. I really do think from that angle, his hands were facing backwards. Oh, I'm dear. Happy. I'm happy to go flat. That's an origin try. You don't take them off them in origin. That was a try. Forward. 
<laughs> but you can't have it both ways, guys. Good on you, Stuber. And we should point that, again, for our viewers not in favour with our game, that we cannot go to the video referee on a try scoring situation and have the video referee rule on a forward pass. Play by Jamie Lyon. Jared Hayne will play the ball 21 metres out from the Blues line. At least we had a referee calling the game himself rather than a touch judge or a video referee. But it shows again, Ravis, that when Queensland come down into the New South Wales 20, New South Wales defence has got no answer to them. Every time they've come down there, they've looked likely to score. They've had two disallowed tries and come up with another one. Up the other end of the field, no trouble. And they come down to the Blues 20, the Blues haven't got any idea. Jared Mullen. Taken by a flying Greg Inglis, playing in the position that he would prefer to play. 35 away from his own line. Hodges dummy half away to Tate, and Tate pulled down by a three-man tackle, including Steve Simpson, Andrew sideline. You reckon the Queensland fans sitting at home drinking their favourite beverage right at the moment aren't fired up about that? You'd reckon that the Anasta pass to Hindmarsh was probably further forward than Smith to Stephen Price. You just saw a shot of Nathan Hindmarsh as Queensland get a penalty here just inside the New South Wales half. Nathan Hindmarsh taken off the field in the 22nd minute. No injury. Still a surprise. You reckon he's worthy of more game time? Yeah, well... Here is another opportunity for Queensland to come down on the attack. And I'm telling you, when you're looking up high from here, other than Matt Cooper's great up and in tackle on Inglis, the New South Wales defence really is troubled by the decoy plays and the work around the ruck from Cameron Smith. They've looked likely to score every time. Here they come again. This is Costigan. And a second ball has crept onto the ground. That's a New South Wales ball boy doing his job. Play by... The Canberra Raider, Costigan. Now Price, who was denied the try. Cameron Smith to the open side for Kafusi to lock you up. And here's Berrigan. Berrigan in the 14 jumper. On for Dallas Johnson at the moment. It comes from Inglis. Goes to lock you up. Lock you for Thurston. Thurston was going to pass. Put a kick on it. They bat it down. Line drop out for the Blues. Identical set of six to what scored their first try. Exactly the same set of six. They hit one up on the left-hand 20 line within two players are on the right-hand side of the field with nice decoy incision. And then coming across, they brought King in off his wing and Grubber kicked in behind him. Last time it was the cross-field chip kick, this time the Grubber kick, but it was identical to the set of six where they scored their first try. That's a great save from Matt King. And Jonathan Thurston had a word with Neville Costigan about getting in front of him. As he did as the next man on his outside, if he's going to be a decoy, he's got to be a possibility of being thrown the football. Jared Mullen taking the line drop out, not bad. Fielded right on the halfway line by Lockyer. And here's the man that got the late call up, Antonio Cafusi. He plays it 35 metres away from the Blues line. Stephen Price with a fend and a fend and then puts the ball on the ground. Thurston scoops it up, keeps it alive, gives it to Cossigan. Cossigan got rid of Mullen, but he was taken by Matt King. And it's played 30 metres out from the line. Thurston on the right, turning it back to go up the middle is Berrigan. And Berrigan is 25 away from the Blues line. Played back for Smith to go to Thurston. Thurston to Lockyer. Lockyer back to Inglis. Inglis standing and then put down by the Blues defence eventually. Ryan it was, Smith for Price, and Price up the middle, tackled by the New South Wales 16, Tupu. Here is Cameron Smith himself, and the Melbourne captain over the line, held up, held up. Well, they just look like they're going to score every time they come down there. Your heart's in your mouth if you're a blue supporter. Cameron Smith on last play there, nearly pulled their pants down. And the Blues will want to get out of their end of the field this time. No mistakes here. Mason. Taking on several defenders. The main one was Kafusi. Here's Cooper. Melman Ingram's used all four interchange players in the first half. Jacob Williman out there in Jersey 15. And then it hasn't been seen to date, Kurt Gidler. Braith and Astor. That's the 30-metre line, his own end of the park on the western side. And Jared Hayne plays the ball inside 40. 
play back for Madeiras. And Madeiras oh, runs into a shielding tackle from Price. Mason going up the tunnel. Long, long ball to Mullen. And that ball is bouncing down towards Inglis, who's back on that left wing. Met by King and Tupu and Jamie Lyon. Bell goes to Hunt. Hunt back to Bell. And Bell is 35 metres away from his own line. Hunt a dummy half a run. Straightens up into Bailey and Heinmarsh is there. Together with Andrew Ryan and Tupu. Smith then back towards halfway. Thurston, Lockyer, Lockyer, Hodges, Hodges, down the right side, in and away. Gets it back for Brent Tate now. And Tate is held and put away by Heinmarsh in 12. Played back to Lilliman, who's on in 15. And they go back looking for Hunt. They find him. They find Stephen Bell. And then it's put down by Inglis. Scooped up by King. Tackled by Bell. Lyon. Jamie Lyon inside the Blues 40 metre line. Minicello is with the ball. 59% of, or should I say 51 of 51% possession with the Blues, but they've spent a lot of time in their own territory. Play by Bailey Simpson from Newcastle. Strong run. He ran straight over the top of Cameron Smith. Badiris for Mullen. Now it's back with Ryan to the ground and a bounce for Badiris and a push for Mullen and a push for Minicello and then a bump from Anesta. Then he drops it on the left foot and it goes down towards the try line where Carmichael Hunt is taken down by Jared Hay. He ran out of troops there, Brave Anesta. I think he thought he had one more player on the outside who could chase that. It looked promising. But the kick is good. Look at the Blues defence aiming up now. This is where they want to tackle up the other end of the field. Here's Hunt tackled. 10 metres out from his line, Andrew Voss sideline. Willie Mason, slight hamstring strain. The Blues camp confident, though, he will be back. Brent Tate tackled on his own 20 metre line. There's Mason getting treatment in the sheds. Fourth tackle now against Queensland, and they are still close to their line. Well, that's a penalty. He's got him for obstruction. The defence in the mind of the referee, the defence was obstructed and was in a position to make a difference. And he knew it, Jonathan Thurston. He tried to stop, he tried not to run behind his teammate, and then as soon as he took the advantage, he'll go at crossfield on a bad line, a bad decoy run. He knows he's in trouble. Now he'll run off and take the advantage that's been created by the 17 Costigan who overran him. That's a mistake by the attacking side and a natural penalty. He knows Thurston. When he stopped, if he'd have come back, it would have been OK, because Jamie Lyon on the outside was the New South Wales defender. That was put out. He went against his better judgment and kept on going. Graham Murray will be very happy to receive that penalty not far out from half time. His side should be more than a converted try in front. Assistant coach Roy Simmons, former Origin player himself, test player, helping out with Tim Sheens at the West Tigers. And Lyon, who has kicked beautifully tonight, I thought it might have been a little bit of weakness coming into this game that the opposition were so strong in the kicking department. Jamie Lyon has hit his first two nicely. Should have few problems with this one on what we've seen. Half time, just under four minutes away. Here's Lyon. Strikes it. Another goal to the Blues. Here's a break back in a moment. And for you people taking us through the breaks. 14 to 6, the scoreboard favour of New South Wales. Two tries to one. As Lockyer restarts. And Bailey it is. At 14 to 6 for New South Wales, bringing it back from his own goal line. And Master unloading for Simpson. Simpson will play the ball 10 metres out from his own line. Here's Badiris. Berrigan was low. Kafusi up the top. Mullen. 
Bailey. Bailey for Ryan. Met there by Lockyer. 15 metres from halfway. And about two and three quarter minutes to the half time break of State of Origin 1. Live and exclusive to Channel 9. Here is Hunt bringing it back to 35 metres out from his own line. And a huge two and a half minutes coming up here. So often points are scored in the danger period before the break. There's that trail by eight. Almost be in the opposition half, halfway through the tackle count. And they'll be looking to put some pressure on the high kick at the end. Play by seven receiver. It's gone over to Thurston. Thurston to Costigan. Costigan is 45 out. Mitten tackle by Simpson and Tupu. Then from Smith, it's gone to Thurston. Thurston back to Berrigan. Berrigan gets it up to the Blues 30 metre line. 20 metres in from the Eastern touch line. Smith goes to Thurston's right boot. Uh, Bell is after it. Under it is Minicello. Minicello safe at the back. Playing in his ninth origin game is Anthony Minicello. Some of the Blues appealing for the high shot. Simpkins taking no notice. Minicello was the the main appellant. Here he is with the ball now. And Lilliman is beaten by Minicello. Lockyer had to make the tackle. Here goes Danny Baderis working up the middle, beating Petro Seven to see that. Ball going to Mullen. And Mullen putting a kick in to vacant pasture. He finds the line. He finds the line inside the 20. Where was he? The 40 20, I think. Jared Mullen. Oh, he's a mile inside the 40 now. Did it go out inside the 20? Now this touch judge has gone inside the 20 to put up his flag. Watch him. Here's the ball. And the touchy, he comes along in a few seconds and he indicates that it went over the line inside the 20. given the feed to Queensland. Well, that, to me, almost looks like an overrule on the touch judge. Stephen Bell. 25 seconds of the first half to go. Seven to Seaver. Taken by Bailey. Simpson in 15. Badiris in the tackle as well. 15 tackles for Badiris in the game thus far. Played by Berrigan. Cameron Smith, Jonathan Thurston, Darren Lockyer. Long flounder out to Brent Tate. Tate, the ball taken from him. Jared Haynes got the ball. Jared Haynes puts in a kick. He races for him with Hodges. He gets there first. He gets there and scores. On the boo. Jared Haynes. That is an unbelievable pass. Debutant of all people, youngest man on the park, Jared Hayne. A steal, then a sprint, then a kick. Hodges couldn't match him. Then he got the bounce out of heaven, and Jared Hayne scores on half time. So it was a charge down. It was a charge down. The ball was rising off the boot. So it's never to be a knock on never to be a knock-on, then he gets rid of Hodges. Look at the area he's got to work in. Nothing. Goes outside the field of play. Gets the bounce out of heaven and puts it over the line. Jared Hayne, welcome to Origin. This game, it just keeps giving us something like this. Year in, year out. If it's not Lockyer, it's Slate. If it's not Slate, there's a try. It's a try, all right. If it's not those players, it's Mark Coyne scoring a try with the full-time siren sounding after 11 men have handled the ball. And now this kid from Parramatta, Jared Hayne, has scored. Matthew Johns, I'm out of breath, out of words. Oh, let me give you a hand, Raps.
Have a look at him, Jared Hayne, the second youngest player in New South Wales history. What must he be thinking right now? He's in the history books. What a finish to the first half. Now, Lyon's going to convert this, maybe. Could be 20 to 6, but as a New South Welshman, oh, mate, I'm nervous. I'm nervous with the history of these Queensland comebacks. I'm not relaxing yet, Ravi. I don't think Jamie Lyon is either. It's a very big call by you. He will convert this comma, I think. Bold prediction from Johns, the former Australian number six. Here's Jamie. I don't like it. Try not convert it. But what a try. What a moment. Right on half time. And welcome back to State of Origin 1 here in Brisbane. We're in the New South Wales rooms currently. And I'm just wondering if the coach might have reminded them they led 14-0 at halftime in game one last year and they fell across the line to win 17 to 16. And maybe Mel Meninga is echoing sentiments along the same line over in the Queensland rooms. The Queenslanders have come from a half-time deficit to win 10 times. New South Wales have only done it on five occasions. So we all know the power of Queensland when it comes to mounting a fight back. The Blues are on their way with big Luke Bailey, one of the Gold Coast Titans club captains, spurring them on. And as Danny Badiris takes the side back onto the playing arena, the big plus for Jared Mullen, the number seven, is the fact his side is in front. So much pressure when you are a ball player and a, an involved player as the halfback is. If he was coming out here chasing, he would feel the extra responsibility of trying to conjure up something. Now he can just go out there and concentrate on his game and, and build on the lead. The pressure is, is off compared to how it could have been. Peter, I think this is all up to the New South Wales forwards. I think they're so far on top at the moment with their yardage game that if they continue what, doing what they're doing, I don't think Queensland can get back into the game. But it's up to the forwards. And we've seen this before. Look, we've seen New South Wales get to a lead and sit on their heels before. And Origin kicks in and Queensland make a comeback. It's up to the New South Wales forwards to prevent that. I just get the impression, Phil and Peter, that when under pressure inside their own red zone, both teams at times have looked very brittle. Well, New South Wales haven't been up there that often, but what I've seen of their own defence down their own end, Queensland look likely to score every time they get within 20 metres of the line. That would still be a worry to me. And one of the things, or probably the, the only thing I'd really be addressing at half-time is not to invite them down into that area, number one. And when they get down to that area, don't make rush decisions in defence. Work as a unit. We still haven't seen one of the best players in the NRL Premiership have a run yet, Kurt Gidley. He has been in scintillating form, probably in the top three players in the league at the moment. As we go into the second half of Origin 1, in front of a crowd of about 52,000 people here in Brisbane. And uh, Antonio Cafusi, one of several Melbourne Storm players, bringing it back. And Sivan Siva backs him up with the second run. And Bailey in 14, Simpson in 15. They make the tackle. They could have easily been the starting props. Now for Carmichael Hunt. And the end of three for Queensland. Hodges, who was involved in that chase on Jared Hayne, is tackled just on his own side of halfway. And Cameron Smith kicks early. Ball bouncing up favourably for one of the stars of the game in a cello. And now for King, Andrew Voss, sideline. Ray, all clear on the injury front for Queensland. Just on Willie Mason, though, you can see the right thigh now heavily strapped with that hamstring strain. They still think they'll be able to get some game time out of him in the second half. And just for those who like a stat, half-time last year, New South Wales led the opener by 14 points. Only one with a 79th-minute field goal. The previous year, Queensland led by 19 at one stage, and we went to extra time. Don't give up on this game, baby. Jared Mullen. Just giving a short ball across to Simpson. He's using my babies now, isn't he? Badiris' pass for Tupo. Goes to ground, picked up by Thurston. 
Queensland with a, a chance. Did he lose the ball first in? The touch judge may have called a lost ball there. This is Costigan. Taken down by Heinmarsh. Cameron Smith to Darren Lockyer. Lockyer goes out to Lilliman. And Lilliman from the Cowboys in his second game. Now Silver Deceiver, eventually finding the ground. Cameron Smith behind Kufusi to Thurston, to Costigan. They promised us that they would hit Costigan on the edge of the ruck towards the small men. Five tackles, Thurston, the little kick, and uh, Minicello has gone crashing off into one of the cameras. He's been treating it very coolly, as you would expect. World's best player in 2005. He's in fine form tonight. And again, a kick from Queensland has gone dead. So the pressure is relieved. He's beautifully positioned there, isn't he? He's right where the ball has to be. He judged it perfectly. Here's Ryan in the end of a very good tackle from Lilliman. Just inside the 40-metre line. Stephen Simpson it is that takes it ahead. Tall, rangy, wiry. It's a nester. Drills it down, and Carmichael Hunt with another lovely take at the back. The idea was good, execution was poor. Kicked early in the tackle count, there was only one player back, and unfortunately break the nester found him on the full. This is Brent Tate now. 35 metres away from his own line. Kafusi. Outside 40. Huge man. Very, very big man. Costigan getting it just into New South Wales's half. It's 18 to 6 in favour of New South Wales. You're watching Origin 1 live and exclusive on the Nine Network. And live over in the United Kingdom, Papua New Guinea. As Thurston puts in a banana kick. It bounces favourably for Hayne, and Jared Hayne away from one or two. He's put down, sandwiched down, 30 metres away from his own line. Matthew King inside his own 40 metre line. Play back to Matt Cooper, who has got one of the three tries. Hayne the other, Hindmarsh the other. And Ingles, of course, scored the first try of the game. A lovely try. Beautifully executed off the boot of Thurston. They're just outside the Queensland 40-metre line now, the Blues. And Mullen goes across and gives it to the second man. And that was Ryan, who was working back on the inside. Five gone, Mullen. Mullen puts a little kick in for himself. And the contest is there. And the Tate comes away with the ball. Ball goes to ground. Now it goes to the hand of New South Wales. And it's with Heimbach. Rapid action stuff, hard to keep up with. Here's Simpson. Simpson. Either held down by Cameron Smith or holding him down. Here's Luke Bailey. Now they're nine away, almost in front of the uprights at the Milton Street end of the ground. Out now for a Nasta behind Ryan Minicello, Hayne. And Hayne is five out. Ryan. Back for Nasta. And the kick to this right hand side. Getting set up as forwards fan to the blind side. Badira's dummies and comes to Mullen. There goes the kick. And the Queensland is equal to it. Greg Inglis will bring it back to the 20. Now I suggest Graham Murray in preparation for Origin 2 and assuming that Mullen's going to be there again. Gets that set of six and shows it to Jared Mullen. New South Wales got the ball off a turnover. They had the opposition at sixes and sevens and it was third or fourth tackle before he touched the ball. It was a pretty ordinary set of six and one where I reckon the halfback should have dominated nearly every play on the turnover. Had to get his hands on the ball. Kafusi running it at Simpson and Bailey. Antonio... First origin match, <clears throat> one of seven on simple? display for the first time. What accent was that? <laughs> oh, 
Thurston. The only one I've heard of, I think, was in Merchant of Venice or something. Now Cameron Smith driving it down into the corner. And Minicello has Stephen Bell hot on his hammer. And he beats Lilliman. And uh, eventually, Sibber Deceiver makes the tackle. Picked up one handed by Jared Hayne. And Lilliman is there to stop him just inside the 20. Bailey. Bailey running at Lockyer. He'd be relishing that. Give me a chance to run at it. The Lockyers, the Berrigans, the Thurstons on the 40 metre line there. That's the big fella, Bull Bailey. Mullen. Face pass over Minicello to Tupo. And now to Minicello on the run around. He's looking for King to go in field. But he's pulled down and tackled. 30 metres out from the line. Now for Mullen. He puts it across to Anasta, who goes very high to Carmichael Hunt. And he's so hard to beat. He is just so hard to beat. For well, the last three, fifth tackle options from the Blues at this end of the field have been poor. They're 12 in front. They don't need points. What they've got to do is grind the opposition into the ground. Look at the Queensland side bunch behind to play the ball here as they work it out of trouble. And New South Wales have made it easy for them at the moment. Imagine if they made them tackle again for another set of six with a repeat set or work it right off their own line. Queensland can't get out of their own way at the moment. They're just bunch behind to play the ball. This is Hunt running off a dubious pass from Cameron Smith. Play up towards halfway for Thurston. Then for Kafusi. Legs kept going, body stopped. Jamie Lyon, the tackler, that's hurt the big fellow. Yeah, that's a good tackle from Jamie Lyon. Came back from the English Super League this year. And he has stopped the big man. And if he hadn't have got a decent hold on him, Kafusi was through. One on one. We saw him once or twice, Peter. I remember a match we did. And he's really done some damage here. Up the middle, he scored a couple of runaway tries. I thought he was going to run into the Yarra there one night. Yeah, I think his legs, his ankle's gone the wrong way here. His left ankle has gone the wrong way. OK, we'll take a break and come back in just a moment to Origin 1. And uh, Kafusi tackled by that man, Jamie Lyon. Of course, he had that stint with St Helens. Scored all those tries. It was absolutely brilliant for them. Back now with the Premiership leaders, Manly. But the attention at the moment is on Antonio Kufusi. And we are back at Suncorp Stadium with this massive crowd watching Queensland try to come back and bridge a 12-point deficit we all know it's not beyond them. I repeat, they've come back from a, a deficit ten times, whereas New South Wales have only done it five times in 27 years of origin history. Well, they've set the precedent, haven't they? But this won't help their cause. Kafusi, he was a late call-up for Carl Webb. Webbing off the field, they'll be playing the rest of the game with 16 men. And they will lose some trust in their go-forward. Stephen Price goes out to play the football. So both starting props out there. Seven to see, but takes it inside the 40. Does a good job to pick up 15. So they're just outside the 30 metre line. New South Wales end of the ground now. With Lockyer putting in a left footed kick. High! And Jared Hayne turning his back on the defence coming down the ground. Giving himself great cover. And now Minicello is tackled. He's gone to ground with the ball, and Hodges is still trying to drag him back into the end goal. Now Ryan loses his footing. Berrigan was the tackler eventually. That's Cooper. Queensland swarming in. Badiris. Penalty goes Queensland. Well, I was about to say that was a great run from Badiris. They were in a lot of trouble there. The Blues getting out of trouble. Queensland were muscling up and really sticking it to them. And now a penalty in possession of the ball will give them a rounds a chance. So he's applied the obstruction rule on Danny Badiris. And Queensland, with a full set from 10 metres out, Smith and Sibonaceva combine. Sibonaceva taken by Ryan and Bailey. 
Smith as the acting half. Then for Price, behind Berrigan, the lock up. Ball goes out. Carmichael Hunt, Greg Inglis, Greg Inglis. He gets his second try of the night. And it is now his fourth try in two games, and that is beautifully constructed. When we have a look at this, this is one that they have worked on all week. And it comes from a set of six put back to back. This is the penalty going against Andrew Ryan. Danny Badiris went in between the defender and the ball carrier. Or he was the ball carrier, but the defender. And here we see, after two cutout passes, Greg Inglis back out on the wing, spent a little bit of time at fullback, taking advantage of some smart inside work. Good decoy runners did their job. Well, I said this in the first half, and it would have been the only thing the coach should have been talking about at half time. Every time Queensland get inside the Blues 20, they run these decoy plays at them, and the Blues defence run up, single out, and don't work as a unit, and they've been in trouble and look like conceding points every time. Queensland are unlucky not to have come up with four tries. They've had one forward pass pulled back. Bell dropped the ball in the corner. They had a couple brought down only inches short. Nate Miles has brought down inches short. First opportunity in the second half. Decoy, decoy, free run to the line. Queensland will just be itching to get up this end of the field again. And as Thurston lines this up to put his side just to convert a try behind, Danny Badiris, the New South Wales skipper, has left the field. And young Kurt Gidley in Jersey, 17, gets his first taste of origin. This will swing way right to left. Can he judge it the way he did with his first kick? Thurston from the 20-metre point at the touchline. Back live for the restart in play for Anasta. At 18 to 12, the Blues in front of Queensland now. 18-6 half time. Whittled away somewhat by a lovely try. The second of the game for Greg Inglis. Cameron Smith goes to Sivan Seaver and Kurt Gidley is on in 17. And he was underneath. Seven receiver then. Price. Well, there you go. It can only get easier for him. <laughs> I think they'll be coming again somehow. Thurston driving it down. That's Wonderfully a between fullback oh. and winger. He was unlucky. Yeah, I mean, it almost had the right weight on it, but at least he, he made them do something. Andrew, sideline. So New South Wales getting ready to put Brett White back on the field. It'll be his first football since the 14th minute for Queensland. Kafusi, it is ligament damage to the knee. Obviously won't be back tonight. Another chance for Queensland with quick turnover. The Blues are inviting them back. Inviting them back to hurt them. Thurston to the right. Berrigan. Desperately held by Ryan. Smith. At the 10-metre line, lock out, rifles it, Hodges catch pass, Pate scores! Forward. forward pass! Another forward pass, denying Queensland. And again, beautiful work of decoy plays and long passes has caught the Blues' defence out. Queensland questioning the referee. This is the second try they've had pulled back. It was lovely work. Watch the pass, the tap on from Hodges. It's gone forward, no doubt. No doubt that went forward. So the Blues coming, ooh, coming out of their own 10. And uh, Jamie Lyon copped an accidental knee. Yeah, he did well. He didn't react. He got up, realised that the important thing to do was to get a quick play of the ball, and he did so. But another firing shot over the bow for New South Wales. You give the opposition the chance, and they will accommodate. 
25 minutes of the game to go. Tupo looking to flick it out for King. He's looking at the sideline as well. Eventually finding the grass. Heinmarsh taken around the legs by Berrigan. Kurt Gidley at acting half. An Estes pass on the bounce for Mullen. Sends away from Lockyer. Goes on to Cooper. Cooper on to Hayne. Here's the kick again from Hayne. Marked by Brent Tate. He fends away from one. That a Minicello. But look at Big Bailey. Down the ground like a gazelle. A big prop forward. English. What? Oh, I don't know about that. Slight exaggeration, but give me a break. It is origin. It was a big play by a big man. It was a big play, but they've given away the momentum again. They keep dragging Queensland back into it. And the New South Wales forwards, who were so dominant in the first half, have dropped off again. This is very reminiscent of game one last year. The Blues forwards were all over Queensland, came out in the second half, started to run a little bit timid, dropped the ball, invite the opposition down the other end. And if you invite a Queenslander, he never leaves. Well, here's another moment, Gus White. White again has been sent to the back. The trainer gets a chance to repair him. Then if the referee catches him again, they then have to replace the man. It's already happened to him once in the game. Well, it is breaking it. We'll just continue to play. Here's Thurston weaving. And pull down. 25 metres away from the line. Dallas Johnson. Is met and pulled down by the the Blues number 16, Tupo and Bailey, Cameron Smith, Steve Price, and he gets it away backwards. Cameron Smith, Berrigan inside for Hunt, and Carmichael Hunt is pulled down. Five out. Bell is the dummy half. Then away from Smith onto Price, and Price again he's able to unload. Ball goes to ground. Played out by the Blues. I fancy. Yes, it was. Six more tackles. Lockyer put down. Pressure for the Blues. Great chance for the Maroons. Hodges. 15 out. Centre ground. Cameron Smith, Steve Price. Price met by Hindmarsh. With some help by White. Smith to the right to Berrigan. Berrigan gets it back for Smith, back for seven receiver. The big fella gallops up towards the uprights again. Seven metres out. Third tackle. Back to Thurston. Thurston! A metre short. Tackler was Tupo. Berrigan is a try for Price. Take that one off him. They can't. They can't take it away. next to the post. We're about to be 18 all with a quarter of the game to go and it is deja vu. New South Wales make a mistake. Queensland get the football in great attacking position. They score the try. We come back down again. New South Wales make the mistake. They give the ball away and Queensland keep the pressure on. Sean Berrigan into dummy half. They thought the play was coming to the short side. They surprised by going towards the posts. Stephen Price, who came on for the injured Kafusi, has wrapped it all up, and it's no surprise. So John Thurston with a simple shot to level it up. Well, the bottom line is this is where we all thought it would be. 20 to go, she's all level. It's what happens from now on that counts. What's happened in the first 59 minutes now means nothing. But the Queenslanders know if they get to the other end of the field, there's points on offer. Got to go to a break quickly on top of this. It's successful. We're back in a moment. So how many times have we been here? You people watching through Fox and of course through Satanta in the UK. This is typical origin. Mason has gone back on. This is typical of this game. Six points between them after 104 hours of football. That tells a story, doesn't it? Welcome back. 
live and exclusive to Nine's coverage of Origin 1 in 2007. And did I tell you earlier they played 104 hours of football coming into this? Well, now they've played 105 <laughs> hours of oh, football, and enough. there's still only six points between them. We're still in front of them. Seven receiver, yes, you're right, Phil. Does that include the golden point minutes? It does indeed. Statistics from David Middleton. Now, Dallas Johnson oh. there. I thought it might have been high from Gidley. Played by Johnson. And then Cameron Smith snapping a kick away. Queensland are coming quickly. And Jared Hay. because he's kicked from dummy half. Jared Hayne gets the football in the field of play, can hear the footsteps behind, realises that they were going to take him into touch or he was going to go there himself and flung it back inside to Minicello and Darren Lockyer, as he did in Melbourne last year when Brett Hodgson was unfortunate enough to throw away with one. Says thank you. The momentum all the one way. John Thurston from in front to really bend New South Wales over. A demoralising moment in the game. Benny Aiken, I reckon you would want to say something right now. Woohoo, boys! Rugby League is about effort and execution. In the first half, the Queenslanders tried real hard, but the passes weren't sticking. The ball wasn't going where they wanted it to. But now it is, and even the New South Wales boys are making mistakes. The Queenslanders are on fire. Look out, here come the Maroons, you little beauty! Ah, uh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ben <laughs> Eichen. Like everyone in a Maroon jumper tonight. Absolutely gobsmacked by this comeback. But why are we surprised? Uh, we're not surprised. We're not surprised. That's the thing. At half time, you, you, you're 40 minutes through a three game series. And again, the Blues have come out without their origin mentality and just invited Queensland to make a comeback. And you invite, I keep saying it, you invite a Queenslander to come back. He'll, he'll set up camp. He won't move. He'll eat you out of house and home. He'll drink your beer, eat everything in the cupboards. He'll never go. I must have a lot of mates who are Queenslanders. <laughs> Seven of Seaver playing the ball 35 metres away. The clearing kick from the Maroons. And now Jared Hayne comes back to be greeted by Lockyer. And they take him back about seven metres. Lockyer and Hodges. Cooper taken down 30 away. We're back here on Friday night, incidentally, for a Canterbury home game against the Cowboys and the second game on Friday is Raiders versus Dragons from Canberra so we'll come back to Suncorp and do it all again on Friday night and then of course to Canberra the double header Canberra versus Dragons and the last tackle here against New South Wales 18 mil so far in the second half and this is where some experience needs to come to the fore Mullen kicks it straight to Brent Tate Really, if anyone is going to lift this New South Wales side at the moment, it may well be Willie Mason. Heavily strapped. But somebody has got to put their hand up and say, let's get back on track. Greg English with the ball. Well, they've got to make their comeback with their defence. They can't make their comeback just throwing the ball around. They've got to make their comeback by making a statement in defence and just denying Queensland any more points. 24-18. 24-18, 16 minutes of the game remaining, 18-6 New South Wales led at half-time, but another of these stupendous comebacks from Queensland, 
and a charge down. Picked up by Cameron Smith. Restarts the tackle count, obviously. It's with Stephen Bell. Time mark it was. Yeah, this is this is the time for the Blues to stand up in defence. If they don't stand up here, they can't win. Stephen Price has proved a thorn in their sides again. I said it earlier, he's so draining when it comes to pulling him down. Lock him back for Hunt. Oh, catch and pass, Hodges again. Beautiful bat along the line by Hodges. He's got lovely hands. You wouldn't have thought so when he came on the origin scene years ago. Here is Dallas Johnson crabbing before straightening. And he will play it seven metres away from the line. Now Smith across Thurston Berrigan. Quick ball, short inside for Carmichael Hunt. Five guards. Hunt will play the ball for Cameron Smith. Now to the right for Thurston. A neat little kick at the crossbar. It almost hit the crossbar. I had some really awkward <laughs> visions of Greg Dowling there and Wally Lewis. That ball heading for the crossbar. I thought it's going to bounce down in front of one of these big Queensland forwards. It's, about, it's amazing how you get flashbacks, isn't it? Yes, and that was in wet conditions at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Miraculous take. And on the ground by Greg Dowling. A little bit of respite now for New South Wales. They get the restart from the 20 metre mark. Kurt Gidley throws the dummy, almost gets to halfway. They should be in reasonable position to kick and exert some pressure on the last. Kite is back out. Maybe he's the man that can bring the Blues back. Kurt Gidley, the 17. He's probably not playing in the position that we'd like him to be. As the ball goes out to Jared Hayne. Oh. He goes to ground, Jared. It's a penalty. It looked innocuous, but... And he hasn't moved. He has not budged. I think you'll find it's Jacob Lilliman who's hung the arm out and collected him oh. as he steps back inside. And certainly more than I thought it was. And Jared Hayne, the good news is he's conscious and getting up as we're watching the replays. Well, this is what they've needed for 10 to 15 minutes. A penalty kick. Kurt Gidley's about to take them, take them within the 20. And they have a full set up their sleeve. The Blues with a chance to come back. Tapped by Gidley. And Mason runs the ball towards the Queensland line. Ending five metres away. Gidley for Kite. And Kite upended and driven into the ground. Speared down. Back for Gidley again. Then for Mullen. Along for a Nasta. Back it goes for a one-handed take by Minicello. And Minicello is eight metres away from the line. Third tackle gone. Back it comes for a Nasta to use White. And White, three metres out on tackle four. Played for Gidley. Gidley to an Asta, an Asta Mullen, Mullen floats it, Mason, well did his hands touch the ground, yes he did, uh, that's a penalty, tackle made on Mason, ball touches ground, that's desperation, the big man looks up wildly at the referee but he probably knows that he erred there in trying to force that pass, some promising football, he knew if he could get it away, there was a chance. Well, the ball never actually touches the ground. His left hand touches the ground. Rabbits, you've got the rule book. No, 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 that, as far as I'm concerned, the referees made a mistake because the arm carrying the ball and the ball did not touch the ground. 100%. But, having seen it like we did a few seconds ago, I thought that re referee Simpkins had it right. I'd just like to check with you before I make sure. I reckon the right hand touched the ground. OK. Well, we'll get back to this now. Price with the ball. Three metres into Blues territory. He's had a wow of a game against Stephen Price. He's given tremendous service to Queensland down through the times. He's the oldest player out there tonight. Leading by example. Here he is again. Price spinning around. And draining them, as I said. Draining the energy out of the defenders. Cameron Smith. Then for Thurston. Shot for field goal.
were just wondering whether Queensland would maybe go for a, a killer blow of six. But Jonathan Thurston believes that the opposition do not have two scores in them in the final ten. Well, that's what we talked about before the game. When it came down to the back end of the game, you knew Thurston and Lockyer would be there. Would the young New South Wales players be there with them? And New South Wales have just lost touch probably from about five minutes into the second half, and the youngsters just don't know how to get their game together again. Greg Inglis then, 15 metres out from his line. Nate Miles is back with us on the 20 metre line. You've heard it all before, but the team has won. Origin 1 has got a superb record of going on to win the series. I can tell you after 105 hours, Queensland have now taken the front by one point. <laughs> As we point out, 18 from 25 times the team will run up. Goes on to win the series, that's the first game, but it hasn't happened the last two years. As Jared Hayne comes centre field, straightens into Thurston. Can't beat Berrigan, Thurston comes back. Picked up by Matt King, he tries to find a gap up the middle. Would seem that that is exactly what Queensland would want New South Wales to do. It looks like a compressed defence, but it's compressed probably through exhaustion. And maybe the expansive game is the one that's required from Mullen. It finds a master who fends away and has tackled 40 metres out. Fifth tackle now. They come back to Mullen and. The kick from Mullen is fielded by Brent Tate, Andrew sideline. Yeah, big news here for New South Wales. After that field goal was kicked, Kurt Gidley straight off the field popped his left shoulder. So terrible news for Kurt Gidley on debut. By the way, the big call against Willie Mason becomes a huge moment in this match. It's the first time we've had more, ten, more than ten penalties in an Origin game in half a dozen years. So here's Lockyer, who always seems to play... I beg your pardon, Stephen Bell. But back on Lockyer, he always seems, doesn't he, to play a major part. He puts his name in the history books via the scoreboard so many times. And again tonight, he's done the same. Johnson, eight metres short of halfway. We've got eight minutes to go. And a seven-point deficit for New South Wales. Jared Hay. Well, Jonathan Thurston kicked that football into open space, into the in-goal area, and then sprinted to lead the kick chase down. Came up with the shoulder charge. It's infectious. At this stage of the game, to find that kind of energy, your teammates love it, and they'll respond. And Astra rounded up by Justin Hodges. Cooper on the 30-metre line. Mason. Two of the little men making the tackle on him, Berrigan and Smith. As Mullen sends it down the ground. But it zeroes in on Carmichael Hunt. Did he pretend to do a hamstring then? If so, it was the greatest decoy I've ever seen. He pretended to do a hamstring, then charged into them as though they'd let him off. Variation of the old goose step, wasn't it, Rose? I think your imagination is. I saw Terry Lamb do this once and went straight through. He runs. Oh, oh, and then he goes again. I, th I think he was jumping a bindi patch. Here's Price for Thurston. Thurston inside the 30 meter line. Blue tablet, blue tablet for Gus immediately. Now it's come from Lockyer. Gone on to Miles. He stopped. He pretended he had a hamstring injury. You stay with the story, it sounds fantastic. Could be a bestseller. Now Carroll, then Lockyer. Left foot across for Bell. Marked by Minicello. And an easy carry back to the 20 metre line. Well, what do you think he was doing? I think he was just like, putting on a new step. He's one of those soccer players taking penalties. That's what they do these days. New South Wales need to come up with something in this set of six. They need to score twice to get in front in this game. And they are rapidly running out of time. Somehow they have got to get sets back to back, and it's got to happen at the end of this one. Bailey played it, Badiris gave it, Simpson running with it. 
or struggling with it to the halfway line. Incidentally, that pass from Jamie Lyon was allowed to go, and it looked like a replica of the pass to Mason that was penalised. The ball goes out from Mullen on the bounce for Hay, and every time Jared Hay gets the ball, they are like bees to a honeypot. Carroll leading. Now from Asta. And Hay, beautiful pickup from an ordinary pass on the 40 metre line. Queensland's end. Carroll working very hard now in defence. And that's the charge down. Stephen Price, the charge down king. He's got the ball. He's tackled on the 40 metre line. New South Wales into the ground by the nearest. Well, generally, I'm not a big fan of the charge down. So often it goes against the man who's come up with it, but not on that occasion. It might well be the match winner. Short ball to Hodges. Uh, it's played. Smith away for Thurston. The kick for Bell. The race is on. Minicello has saved them again. We'll take a break back in a moment. For seven points in it, with under five to go. Origin one, almost there, safely for Queensland, almost there, with four and a half to go, coming back to our live coverage in just a moment, with Price, and as you come back, four and a quarter minutes to go in Origin one, the Harvey Norman series, off to a thunderous start here at Suncorp in front of a capacity crowd and another astonishing comeback by Queensland, lost by Nate Miles. And that will be a knock-on. Scrum packed quickly by the Blues. And as soon as New South Wales have got into trouble in this second half, they've gone far too wide too often with the ball. That's why the Queenslanders are jamming up tight in defence. They're daring New South Wales to try and go around them. Where New South Wales' game plan in the first half was working perfectly, working around the play the ball area. They got right away from that in the second half, played far too an expensive game plan, and that suits Queensland no end. They've got all the speed in the world out wide to chase you down. This crowd figure is up near 52 and a half thousand. It's up near a grand record crowd, I fancy. And the Blues with Cooper. Just inside the 40. Medeiros. Kite. And Kite taken down. 25-18. With just over three to go. Medeiros. Gallant run by the captain. Mullen for Minicello. And Minicello close to the sidelines, but finding the grass in time under the tackle of English. Then for a nest up, a raking kick to one side players, but marked out there by Brent Tate. Slowly up. Spun away by Lockyer and the Hodges. Swerves around one, around the second, and then it's Ryan who goes across to meet him in cover. Lockyer for Carroll, just outside the 40-metre line. Queensland's record here at Suncorp is very, very good, and it looks like it's going to continue that way. They just need one good kick at the end of this set of six, and it's over. Two ten left on the clock. One good kick puts New South Wales out of the game. First in. It's a beauty. Plugging it down into the corner. It's stopping. The Blues are able to keep it in the field of play, but they will work it out of the corner, and that's the easiest place for Queensland to defend. Minicello running into a wall of them, up and in. Badiris for Lyon. Bell makes the tackle with Berrigan. Play back to King, running across towards Simpson. They're 25 metres out from their own line. With one and a half minutes to go in the game. Seven points in favour of Queensland.
Queensland. We trail by 12 at the half-time break. They've come back with 19 unanswered points. The kick down the ground. Hunt in his own in goal. have had inspirational games for their team. Thurston. Three quarters of a minute to go. Played by Inglis. Two tries tonight for the Melbourne Storm utility back. The head goes down from Nathan Heimarsh. Seven to seven. Brings it out to the 20. The crowd... They were taken out of the game at half-time, but they're back in full voice now. They know that Origin 1 belongs to them on the end of another mammoth comeback. There'll be no more, I would not imagine. It would all seem senseless. The full-time score, Queensland, 25.